Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are talking Gymshark times Whitney Simmons V4. That is right, this is the fourth installment of the very popular Gymshark Whitney collab. This is definitely one of Gymshark's most sought out collections because it's so unique. There's nothing else like it that Gymshark has. Whitney really nails it with the whole yogi style, very beautiful color palettes, functional pieces that also look good out and about. Just overall very versatile pieces that really accentuate the curves and help scales out with their confidence. I know that's just what it does for me. So with that being said, the theme of this collection is embracing your evolution. I think that's really beautiful. I think it's very important to embrace your change. We're all ever-changing human beings here on this planet. Last time I checked, the only thing constant is change. Every single day we're learning, we're growing, we're experiencing things, which ultimately contributes to your evolution. So I think this really beautiful meaning behind this collection. Very excited to talk about the new launch. Speaking of launch, these will be dropping Thursday, June 23rd at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will have the list of times just to make it easier for you. Keep in mind, I know Gymshark kind of switches up their times from time to time. So definitely make notes of the time so you don't miss it. This video is brought to you by Gymshark and we have a lot to cover here today. We're gonna be discussing the color palette, the brand new pieces that are launching that are different from last year's V3, all the typical things we usually cover in these review videos like functionality, sizing, material, squat proof, etc. I actually did grab a medium shorts in the biker shorts to compare a small and medium for you. In addition to what we usually cover, I'm adding in a comparison to the V3 colors. So before we get into the specific pieces, let's go over the beautiful colors that will be available. This palette is stunning, and I think this is my favorite I've seen so far. We have a beautiful assortment of both lights and darks in this collection. Perfect for your summer wardrobe, so here's what we got. We are looking at Rekindle Brown, Indigo Navy, Optimus Blue, Palm Green, Sea Kelp Green, Wildflower Purple, and in just a select few pieces, we also have Sunset Beige. These pieces are pretty much what you saw in the V3, except just new and refreshing colors, a few more pieces added in. Some things were taken out completely, like the mesh bottoms, but still kept the mesh top and the crop top. We still got some rest day sweats too, which were big hitters last year. But this year we have some more summer appropriate rest day pieces. We have cropped sleeveless hoodies. First, let's talk sports bras. The mesh sports bra is my favorite. There's two tops launching, the mesh sports bra and the crop top. I always favor the mesh sports bras because I wear them more often. The reason being is I really like that bralette feeling, almost like feeling like you're super comfortable wearing nothing, and I like to throw tank tops and things over these. But for the sake of variety, I did grab a crop top to review for you. We're looking at Wildflower Purple. It's this really beautiful, vibrant lilac color. Rekindle Brown, which is different than her last year's chocolatey brown. This has a little more warmth to it. Optimist Blue, I only got the one piece because because blue and I, we're a little hit or miss. This is a very hydrated blue. Last but not least, I can't leave this mesh bra out, the one I'm wearing. I'm wearing it because it's my favorite. It is none other than the palm green color. I love how this color meshes with the mesh sports bra. I feel like the mesh sports bra is just meant to be in this color. I love how it pairs with the twist front and the gold accents. I just feel like this works. It's a very beautiful summer color. For my gals who prefer a little more coverage, we got the crop top. I got it in sea kelp green. So if you look closely, there is a tinge of green, but it's a very neon yellow. Really beautiful mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right here right now. I have a strange feeling that this palm green is gonna be the first color to go. First and foremost, the mesh bra, like the name, has a ton of mesh built in underneath. This is a double layer bra. There's no adjustments whatsoever. If you look underneath, you got a ton of breathable mesh. On the back, there's breathable mesh as well. I would say the sports bra is fairly true to size. But if you're in between, I would highly suggest sizing down. The reason I say that is because there's no adjustments. Like I said, you don't want boobies peeking out when you like go low like this. I think you're okay without the bra inserts. However, if you're somebody who needs the extra security, you do have the option to insert your own. Keep in mind, this is a very, very low support sports bra. This is not the kind of thing I'm wearing when I'm gonna be running or doing any hit movements. I'm only wearing this as actual loungewear or even, especially now, I've been doing a lot of yoga. This Whitney line is just 
yogi vibes in a nutshell for me. If you know me, I don't typically wear the Whitney collection to the gym. I prefer it as more fashion than anything and just low key movements. As for the crop, so here's what we're looking at. I feel like it's very true to size for the most part. However, I think if you're in between, possibly size down, I know for me, I think I could have gotten away with sizing down. Again, just like that mesh bra, it has a little bit of give. So I feel like certain angles, especially if you're planning to work out in it, I mean, it really could, if you're, if you're crunching like doing a f what do you call it? I did see in Whitney's video, she made a damn good point. If you size down, your girls might look 10 times better because they got you got a little bit of this going on here. Last year, especially when she rolled out with these in the fall time, I wore them out so often. Didn't wear them at the gym at all, but out and about, I wore them a lot. <laughs> Paired it with that cardigan, that Weekender cardigan she came out with. Damn, I was hoping she would come out with them again this year, but it's okay. These have actual bra pads in them. So if you need a little more coverage on the tummy area, you want a little more support, check out the crop because you do have the inserts, the option to take them out as well. Same construct on the back. You have full panel mesh, no adjustments whatsoever. These tops are just very, very comfortable. I have to give it to her. Like she did so good on the tops here because nothing ever digs in. After wearing them for a full day, they are not uncomfortable. They're actually my grab and go preferred tops, like the mesh top to wear underneath looser things. I actually only got one pair of leggings in all shorts. I got all biker shorts because if you know me, I'm obsessed with biker shorts. And since it is summertime, I thought it would be more adequate for my wardrobe especially in these colors. Like I feel more comfortable wearing the sea kelp green and this wildflower purple in biker shorts rather than leggings. I just feel like I would wear it more in the shorts. But I did manage to grab a rekindled brown legging because when fall comes, you best believe I'm gonna be pulling this baby out. Starting with the shorts, I got the sea kelp green again, wildflower purple so that I have matching sets. And then I went ahead and grabbed a size up to a medium in the indigo navy. Now this looked at first black. Then when I got it in, I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. You still have the double V seam on the back end, that really subtle scrunch bone. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think this is Gymshark's best scrunch. I do. It's very natural. It's a clear scrunch. You do not see it. It is undetectable. In my personal opinion, I do think that the Whitney scrunch is better than the Adapt. It's just a little less in your face and it just gives a more natural look. It doesn't look like you're wearing a scrunch at all. Guys, if you watched me in my past few videos, you would know that I've been gravitating towards size medium, so sizing up in tight fit shorts. I hate quad muffins. I hate sausaging of any kind. These kind of sausage me a little bit. Nothing crazy, I have definitely had worse. But ever so slightly, you know, just even the littlest bit just irks me. That's just how I am. If sheerness is an issue for you, always opt for the darker colors. Luckily, my favorite color green is pretty freaking doable. I feel like if I'm in between sizes here, I would size up. I do know that Whitney said, because it's so stretchy, that if you're in between, you could get away with sizing down. She also said that if you size down, it runs the risk of getting a dreaded CT camel toe going on. The way I see it is when I put the Whitney bottoms on, I notice a couple seams right around my waist area here. So if we have similar measurements, reference mine down below. I notice when it comes past my hips in the size small, I hear a couple of seams snap. Right around here is where I kind of struggle to get it up. And there's a good amount of compression considering it's more of like a yogi based style. I feel like I could get away with sizing up. I don't feel like there would be extra bagginess, but I do have a size medium to try on, which we're gonna do right now to compare to see if there's extra baggy room that would just be unsettling. Here's a couple pros of me sizing up, ready? Number one, I'm not seeing my panty lines as much. Now, granted, this is a darker color, just keep that in mind, but I'm not feeling as compressed and sandwiched in. My quads are loving it too. It's not as, you know what I mean? Like you got a little extra let up here. Dang, I wish I sized up in every single short. Do I regret it? I mean, yeah. My main concern when sizing up in the shorts was, is it gonna bunch right around the crotch area? And guess what? It doesn't. But nevertheless, you still have the flat line seams going right around the front here. The double V seam in the back to accentuate the glutes connected right down to the really natural scrunch bump. Let's touch base on the dreaded CT. Without underwear, 
I don't stand a chance in these. Small or medium, my cooter just munches it up. <laughs> With underwear, it's a little bit better. However, what I notice about the bottoms here is that the gusset is so wide that it comes a little bit in the front area ever so slightly. It's what I call like the undercooter. The undercooter is showing through. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think if this gusset was just pushed back a little bit and it didn't come so forward, just pushed back a little bit, I think that it would hide it a little bit better. Do keep in mind active wear fits everybody differently. We all got different shapes and sizes going on, but this is just how it's fitting me. Other people might not have any problem with dreaded CT. Some might have a huge problem with it. So again, if the dreaded CT is an issue for you, consider sizing up. The material is so stretchy that you can get away with it. It's not sacrificing the fit whatsoever. In fact, I think my glutes have a little more space to breathe, a little more room in my leg to stretch. I would say sizing up, especially in between, is the way you want to go. After jumping, there's no roll up. In terms of the leggings, I am wearing a small again. Again, same thing as the biker shorts, just longer in length. I'm five foot three, number one question I'm getting. Well, what's the length looking like, Ash? Here's what it's looking like, okay? Any longer we'd be a little bit in trouble, but we're not, we're okay here. It's really good for shimmying up the leg. You can just smooth it out and it just fits like a glove. So for me, it works. If you remember last year, she came out with similar colors to this. So now is the point in the video where we're gonna do some comparison to the V3. Okay, so here we have a comparison with the old V3 pollen yellow color and the new V4 sea kelp green. As you can see, there's a lot more of a green tint, obviously, sea kelp green, but you also have more of a neon look as well, a little more neon-y and vibrant, whereas this is more of a sunflower yellow, so clearly two different shades. This is gonna be a big question, the difference between the two browns. So this is last year's brown color, the V3, and this is the new Rekindle Brown V4. So as you can see, last year's was more of a milky chocolate, a little more of a muted brown, whereas this year's is a little more rich, a little more hydrated looking, just a little more richness to this shade. So here's a comparison of the blues. Now this is an obvious difference, but I figured I'd add it in anyway in case you were curious. This is last year's V3, a very muted tone again. Last year, nothing but muted tones. This year, the V4, a lot more vibrancy, a lot more saturation involved. So clearly two different shades of blue. So just for the heck of it, I thought I would add in the V4 Wildflower Purple compared to the V3 Blue for the sole purpose that they're both kind of muted tones. So if you loved last year's muted vibe, then maybe go for the Wildflower color because I think you'll, you'll find that it's very similar in that shade. Group. We also have her signature oversized t-shirt. I actually sized down to an extra small. So the front is very plain. You have the Tonal Shark Face logo and then the back you do have It's a Beautiful Day to Be Alive. Just like last year, I'm glad she stuck with this because it's the perfect pump cover. It's so stretchy and comfortable and extremely lightweight. It's not that dense cotton, that stiff cotton. This is a very lightweight piece that you can throw over and would look so stinking cute just over this set all matchy matchy. So like I said, I sized down to an extra small and still look at that room I got. So you can still size down and maintain that oversized look. I think this is so cute, like a full fledged matching set. I know I love my mixing, but damn, if this isn't such a put together casual look. The back though, that's where it's at, it looks so cute. I mean, if you wanna show your glutes, you wanna show off that scrunch, just go a little bit like. I actually really love the length, I gotta admit. This covers the crotch area nicely, in case you got a dreaded CT going on. And for my rest day lovers like myself, I take one too many and I love it. We got some rest day sweats. Let's talk about the sunset beige because we didn't talk about it yet. This color is such a peachy pink with a tinge of that orange, like a nice creamsicle color. It is such a perfect summer shade. So these joggers are the same as last year. If you remember, it's got the same fit. They are slightly oversized, still stretchy, very comfortable. We will go into the fit in just a second. The new piece that we're looking at today is the sleeveless cropped hoodie. Now, if there's anything that I suggest you get in today's haul, this is it. You have a half zip, you also have the cinched waist to match the waistband of the sweats. And you just can't deny that the sleeveless look isn't just so cute. I feel like these tops, like even if you don't get the bottom, 
Grabbing one of these tops would look so cute with a pair of biker shorts or leggings. Keep in mind, these colors in this collection, they are meant to be mixed. They are a perfect palette for that. So we're looking at a size small for both top and bottom here. These are naturally oversized fits. You could size down, you could. I would not, especially in the joggers. Because when I raise my knee, this gets a little tight here and then it pulls right around here. This needs to be limber for me. So if I size down, I just have a feeling, I have the strangest feeling that this is gonna be a little too tight right here, pulling this down. I mean, look, you could probably see my high rise thong a little bit, yeah, you can. You do have two pretty decent sized pockets going on here. Again, you got a lot of room right around here, a little bit bagginess. I actually really do love rolling this down a bit, just like that, it works. There's no riding up right here. Even me rolling this down and making it shorter, there's no riding up in the crotch area, thank goodness. The cuffed ankles are great. They got that to match the rest of the set. It's good because it tapers down nicely right around the ankle area. The real focus in today's video is the sleeveless hoodie. I love that there's a mad space in the armpit right here. That's a big deal to me. Now, even though this is called the crop sleeveless hoodie, I mean, there's still short sleeves here on, I, on me. I mean. I got some short sleeve action going here. I always felt like sleeveless was like right here. So you see some shoulder, but you got a little bit of that short sleeve going on. You also have her script slogan going around right on the cuff here. Just on the one side, I actually really love the fact that there's a hood on here. Unlike her long sleeve crops that are coming out in this, there's no hood. These have a hood in. Oh, no heavy hood syndrome, we're good. This top is really lightweight. Doesn't look it. When you're looking at it, you think it's heavy. The joggers are more heavy than this is. You really don't see too much bra. I just wanna point that out. So keep that in mind. This would actually pair perfectly with the mesh bra. Not so much the crop, because the crop, I actually rolled it up. The crop, you can see underneath it. You know what I mean? But if you wear the mesh bra underneath, you're good to go. And if you look up closely, right across the chest area, there's a seam breakup. Gives it that extra sporty look. What's interesting about this jogger set is, and I know for me, I have a relatively short torso. If I were to just wear these normally, up high waist, pull this down, if like say I'm going into a store, it looks like just a full on onesie jogger set. Honestly, out of the two jogger sets that I have here, I obviously love the sunset beige a little bit more because it just fits the season and this is what I'm wearing for the summer. However, late summer, early fall, that's when I'm pulling out the rekindled brown, you already know. Keep in mind, they're still coming out with a cropped pullover in both of those colors. I didn't snag any of those, only because I was really excited for the new pieces. But if you love the crop pullovers from last year, then I'm sure you're gonna love the ones this year as well. And last but not least, let's cover some accessories that will also be launching. This cap is coming in the sunset beige and the indigo navy. It's a very, very simple cap. It's a heavy embroidered shark face logo on the front. Very indicative of their staple caps that they usually come out with. However, you do have the Whitney patch right on the back here to represent. There will also be crew socks launching. Do I regret not grabbing any? Of course I do. But nevertheless, we do have them in sea kelp green, sunset beige, and indigo navy. So if you wanna get a full matching, athleisure looking set going on, you might wanna get hooked up with those socks. A straw bottle is also coming in the sea kelp green. And last but not least, the Whitney hold all is back. Ooh, and the rekindled brown. They actually surprised me with this when I unboxed the bag when it came in. It was in a normal Gymshark bag, you know, staple white bag. And I was like, what the hell is this? Cause I felt something inside of it. I ripped it open and all the pieces came in the duffel, which was so nice because I didn't expect to get this duffel bag. So if you guys are in need of a really, really nice durable hold all, I love the one from last year and I love this one just as much. I like to see that they're still keeping this gold ring going. You remember from, I believe it was the V2 that had this on the sports bras. Well, now they kept that right here on the bag, full on mesh compartments. There's actually a decent amount of space in this bag, but loads of pocket space and inserts so you can put little things in there. And keep in mind that the hold all is only coming in this rekindled brown color. All right, now it's your turn. Drop a comment with your thoughts. 
What are we thinking of the Gymshark Times Whitney Simmons V4? Is this collection one of your favorites from Gymshark? Because I know a lot of you say that it is. A huge congrats to Whitney on yet another successful line. I know a lot of hard work goes into this and it really shows. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all that I did not cover in today's video and I will try my best to answer them for you. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. We have a ton of exciting videos coming your way in the month of July. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.